Dude, that turn back gets me every time. Ugh. If you guys notice what happened there, I got half of my P speed. If you guys go back and clip that, you can see I got... I didn't get P speed, but I got half of the speed of P speed. So it gave me this jump that wasn't full P speed. So I didn't make the full distance of P speed. But I jumped further than what I would if I didn't have P speed. So... What we're going to do here is, as you guys can look, what we're going to do, this Mario 3 cartridge sucks. This Mario 3 cartridge sucks. This Mario 3 cartridge sucks. And hopefully this one might be good. Damn, system's so warm, it just takes forever. Holy frig! I'll smack you, Nintendo. You don't shape up. What's the world record for turning the game on? Not what I just did. I definitely got maybe top 100 on the leaderboard. Probably not, though. This SMV3 cartridge sucks. This cartridge sucks. Dude, they're like all over the floor now. I got cartridges everywhere. There's Mario 3 all over the place. Just around me, I can count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six Mario 3s. Oh, seven. I got seven Mario 3s right, right by me. Yeah, my console gets so warm that it's hard to read games. It like it doesn't I could have put any game in and it wouldn't have read it. What was the announcement? I have a sponsor I have a sponsorship with uh, the Harry's Razors company. Only for a week though, it's a test it's a test trial to see how I do. So if I only sell like four razors, they're gonna be like, mm, you might not be a good fit for us, Mitch. And I'll be like, oh, embarrassing, but okay. I never said that NES overheats. I just said my NES gets hot and it struggles to play games. I never knew the NES overheats. <laughs> Mitch is stupid. <laughs> you're you're definitely one of those uh, milk first guys in your cereal, right? I know. I look str I look strange with the with the shaven hair. Milk first. The only time milk is ever first in the bowl of cereal is whenever you... Uh, whenever you go for seconds, right? Whenever you finish your bowl of cereal and there's still a bunch of milk and you're still hungry. Oh, yo! Yo, Mario TV donated $100. Wife loves your streams and her SMB3 cartridge has been lost. I'm sure she will enjoy the loot crate and helping the game on her original console again. Oh, and playing the game. Sorry, my bad. Right on. 100 bucks for the loot crate. Right on, man. Fuck yeah. Also, the authentic MFP donation read doesn't get any better. Get back. Loot crate, loot crate, loot crate. What?
Do we have a winner? Winner, winner, winner. I'm looking for o 03. Nice try, guys. Get wrecked, chat. It was for a second snipe show. You want to see that kind of race? Weapons of choice. I'd obviously pick the NES and win the race. I'd have a free advantage. What just happened there? Like 288? What? Uh, Kerbo's not human, so uh, he doesn't count. Kerbo is a robot. <laughs> nice. Half robot on my mother's side. It was the last time I made it to level 8 on this run. I'm not in world 8 or level 8 on this run, so not yet. I can't answer future statistics. No oh, hot child in the sky. Was last time I made it to World Eight? I made it to World Eight yesterday, and I PB two days ago. Yes, we got the flower. <laughs> Where's my cats? They're on the other side of the door. Probably dicking around doing something. Yo, Hypercube, what's up, dude? Dude, that boomerang bro just got wrecked. Shot him right in his toes. Right in his ankle. Bickin' bockin' bickin', my mickin' mickmo. <laughs> That was a big slowdown. It was a big slowdown. Oh, Twitch chat died. I can't fix it right now. Dude, really? You gotta be kidding me, man. How big is Sim now? Uh, pretty big, actually. 
He's more skinny than Eve, but he's almost as tall as Eve. He's such a little shit, though. Dude, 44 coins again. Why? Every time. I can't see the posts. Nope. I love that tune. Rip off. Nice. Okay. That is okay. How do I record my controller inputs? I have a box, a device. Look. You see this? This is connected to my NES and my PC. Oh, it just disconnected. What? Why did it disconnect? What's going on? Oh, my controller still works though, so that's good. I like, I moved it and it just stopped working. What the heck, man? What is this life? Now you guys will never know what I'm pressing, ever. What is my life right now? How do you move something and it just stops working? Alright, fine. You want to be stubborn? Good. I don't even want to use you anyways. Nice. I probably just need to like turn it off, turn it back on again. You, you guys know the drill. You guys know how it is. No way I touched it. It didn't ruin the entire stream. It didn't ruin any part of the stream. What's more important, guys? Seeing the inputs or hearing them? I think hearing the inputs is way better. There's something about that, the crunch of the buttons, you know what I mean? The clickety clacks. And <laughs> now we can't see the task inputs. True. But you know what they say. I tried to weave for life. Doop, bap. 
Do do ba ba do ba da. Are we still at three? No, we made it. What if 39 got done? They'd probably give me like another incentive or something. I asked them, I was like, there's, is there more incentives after 10? And there's no, there isn't more incentives in the contract, but they might be nice enough and be like, wow, Mitch, you did 50, here's like 10 gift subs or something. Which I appreciate, I don't mind. I don't need incentives. You have to kill every non-respawnable enemy. I don't know if I'd like that category. I mean, this Death Waffle is an enemy, and it won't respawn. I'd have to kill him. But I can't yet. The only way to kill a Death Waffle, I'm pretty sure, is a, a Tanuki statue. And there's no way to get a Tanuki suit yet. And I can't backwards warp here. What are these incentives? Yo, Tang, what up? Tang, would you please email... So my fiance can send you the loot crate, you friggin' frig. Uh, I got a sponsorship with Harry's Razors, and they, they incentivize numbers of cells that I can do. I was just telling the chat about it. My highest view count ever in my entire life has been a little over 5,000, and that was when being on the front page was insanely good. Um, that was about four, that was close to five years ago that happened. That was about five years ago when I was debuted on the front page to show off like speed running. I was handpicked out of like a couple people. They chose me to do Mario 3. That was a long time ago. Well, I don't think t front page right now is like most popular. It's, you still have the variety of front page right now. Front page is just a lot different than what it was five years ago, obviously, right? Of course, of course. Back in the day. Did I use Justin TV before I streamed? No, I watched you stream in Justin TV before I started streaming, though. I was still a uh, full time construction worker before I started streaming. But I was still I was still speedrunning Mario 3. I just wasn't streaming. I was very, very shy to start streaming. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Anyone who got front page like six years ago would get like 8,000 viewers because anyone who went to the front page would see your stream. Whereas right now, if you want to see every front page stream on, on Twitch right now, you have to scroll through all of them. So if you're not a front page watcher, they'll never... Unless they're right there, the odds of that people getting the view is a lot. But... People can get front page right now and get like 10,000 viewers. It's very possible. Very possible. Yeah, I don't know what Pooh is doing though. It's very situational on what you're doing and where you are on the front page. Like, if they if they put me on the first thing that you see on the front page on Twitch, I'd probably... I'd get well over four or 4,000 viewers, most likely. It's the first thing people see. It's like a free view. Anyone who goes on Twitch, you're already... your view there, right? 
Anyone heard of Darbian? Who's Darbian? <laughs> Sorry, I had to be a jerk. Yeah, front page is very, a uh, very interesting thing. That was so close, guys. How long have I been running Mario 3? A little over nine years, I think. A little under nine years. Can't, can't fully remember. Yeah. Sadly, a lot of people got used to Darbian thinking he was like a full-time streamer because he did stream every day for like a little while, but he, he's never been like that. I've known Darbian for years now and I've always known that he, like his life revolves around so many other things other than speedrunning, but sometimes he likes to dedicate a few weeks, a couple months of his spare time to speedrunning to maybe achieve some goals, right? He's always been like that. He'll be back again and he'll come back in a blaze of fire, and then he'll go away again, then he'll come back, he'll go away. Because the people who don't know that Darbian does that often think like something's wrong or something's bad, when normally that's not the case. Have I talked to him recently? No. Yeah, every few months. It's because he's got a full-time job. He's got a life outside of speedrunning. This he he did not he did not make playing video games any form of career. It's pure hobby for him. Um, all I know is he's been, he's been having pains, right? I think we all know he's been having a lot of pains. So there is a point. It might come to the point where he stops altogether. He might even be at that point right now. All right, Darby might be like, you know what? I'm just I'm done. I can't. I can see that happening in the future, retiring from speedrunning because of it. But, he hasn't mentioned anything of it yet, so... Yeah, he speedruns for fun, exactly. Uh, his eyes didn't get messed up. His, he wears the glasses because it's very bright in his room. I don't remember him ever telling me his eyes were fucked up. I've asked him before and he's like, oh, it's just bright in my room. Oh, it's his thumbs? I don't know if it's his thumbs or his wrists. There's only... There's only one problem that I could deduce from the entire situation. Dog bone controller. See, that's why I like the NES, right? So the NES controller is super hard on your thumbs. It's bad on your thumbs, but it's not bad on your hands or wrists because you can hold the controller anyway. The dog bone creates this arch in your palm that that affects the wrist. It like, there's an arch with the dog bone aspect and it hurts. It hurts the wrist, it hurts the palms. When I play Super for a long time, this right here really hurts. When I play Super Nintendo for a long time, this right here hurts. I don't get that from Nintendo. I don't get any pains from Nintendo. The tip of my thumb hurts because I press too hard and that's a me thing. The dog bone? That's what the controller is called, the dog bone. But there are a lot of people out there who play on the Super Nintendo controller for years and years and they got no problems, right? I think it's pretty situational based on person. Yeah, sometimes I hold the NES controller with fingertips like that sometimes. It gives me a better control over it too. Definitely, um, very important. It does, it does get sad when, um, people get used to holding controllers in a very un... I don't know the right word to use, but in a way that's da way more damaging. And it sucks because it causes people to stop playing.
Hashtag no stop. Look at that. Five seconds in world four. Yeah, Karua does this. Karua plays like this, which is obviously a healthy way of holding the controller. I can't see you getting really messed up holding it like that. Yeah, I rest I rest my hands on my legs. My hands are on the bottom of my hands are on my legs. And then I wrap some fingers around some of the corners and that's about it. Yeah, it's called it's called claw grip. Or maybe it's is it still called claw grip playing like that? Like, I know when I play Super Nintendo, I claw I claw my first finger around over the Y and the X. I know that's claw as well. Like when I play Super Nintendo, I'll I'll have this finger up on the top buttons for Super. I'll do I'll do that all the time for Super Nintendo. I think that's the better definition of claw grip, right? Eh, okay. Technically, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus clip. Uh, not on this run. Don't need it. Is the crab boss an SMB too? safe yeah I know a lot of people who do the slide right they like they'll, they'll shift what that ha how did he throw that hammer backwards okay Give me another movement of one. Just do it. Don't lie. It gave me the worst movement possible. What a fucking asshole. Please excuse my language. I'm sorry. It wasn't what I said. It's that I said it was so much hate. I'm no, I'm sorry, guys. I will keep the hate to a minimal. I'll keep the hate down. Fuck, I'm playing so well. Almost rubbed up against that. Oh, come on, get your candy ass out of there, HB. Just do it. 
Please, I really need him after this level to get out of there. If he could just please listen to daddy, please. If I enter this pipe too early, I'll die. I'm not kidding. I swear I'm not kidding. If I enter that pipe that I just went in too early, I'll die. The wall will crush me. Dude, Hammer Brother, don't make me! Don't you get in that car! Yes. Plan B activated. Ah! Don't fall in the ragu. Please. Yo, did you guys know you can get hit by ceiling ragu there? If you jump too high off the highest ledge, you can get you can get roof roof goo ragood roof goo roof ragood. You can get rag roofed. Jesus clip will not be mandatory to get world record. No, I'm serious. You can die from that pipe. So what happens is that... Okay, so in case you guys didn't notice, whenever you go into a pipe, the pipe pushes you, right? So when I go into the pipe to the right, the pipe's gonna push me forward. The level's an auto-scroller, right? So the screen moves slow. So if the pipe pushes me far enough into the screen to the point where I'm past where the screen is loaded, and the screen will crush me, which is a normal thing in this game, then that will actually happen. Nice game, Nintendo. It doesn't work here because the ceiling doesn't have, uh, like a wall, right? A walling? Not a ceiling, a walling. If I, if I would have got better at RNG, this would have been a much better world. Airship time! <laughs> no, why did I go up there? That's so lame. Why didn't I go up there? I had it, dude. What? I must have let go of A too early. Yeah, I should have had that one. No, I didn't reach the platform up top. Dang it, man. It's okay, this level's not too bad. Woo, man, I don't want three stars there. Alright, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm just pissed.
Arnold Palmer. We're making history for Summoning Salt right now. This is when Summoning Salt does the 100% world record progression, you guys will be here for it. All right, go ahead, stop. Got it, for sure. Nope. Some hefty losses, boys and girls. Some hefty losses here. Come on, just move down. Good boy. Good boy! Like, come on, man, these time losses. So stupid. I have only myself to blame. Oh my god, dude. So stupid. Why can't I just do consistent swimming here? It doesn't make any sense to me. Why am I so bad? I've routed it out where I, I'm like, okay, I, as long as I do a big swim after this guy, like, what? <laughs> like, I just don't get it. Oh, I'm done with it. I'm done. Ah, they both despawned. That's bad. When they both despawn, that means I've cr I created more lag than I, you know, more than I had to. I, I didn't have to create that much, so I lost a little bit of time, right? Yo, Obelisk, what's up, man? We haven't had any, like, groundbreaking runs, which we normally have at least one or two every day. Mitch and a beer, that's right. See, you've seen worse days, exactly. Right? That's what I was thinking. a mild mistake you know you guys know how hard it is to jump and grab a block at the same time right like you've seen it in super mario world having to like jump off it and grab it at the same time pretty common mistake mm, candy crush no nice try Thank you. 
Come on, end the level already. Let's go. This run isn't... Hey, Mitch, just tuned in. Watched you play World 6. You did really well. I can't wait to see your time save. Everyone get ready. Dude, he was gaining on me. Yo, there we go. No, I could have. I definitely could have done World Six uh, better than that. Yo, with the Harrys, right on, man. I didn't see who did that, but I can always find out. Oh yeah, yeah. Nice, dude. It costs like it's like three dollars for in hair, for the Harry's products. Perfect, perfect stocking gift. No more hammer, brother. Sad face. That's good face. That's a that's a no sad face. That's a happy face. Nice, I kept peace speed. I wasn't expecting that. Yo, thank you. What you guys saw me do in warp list is what I'm trying to do in 100% now. I don't need the mushroom house. I am not excited for 7-4, no. Or 7. Oh, 7-4? Yeah, whatever's would have on 7-4. I thought you were talking about 7-7 seven, seven for a second there. You, you can't get stars from Mushroom Houses. Alright, sea creatures! I've had enough of your shit. The fish came out of nowhere. You just like, eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
okay. We have 7-7 seven, seven to frig us over. Yay! Time to get effed! We need this first try. We need this first try. Come on, video game. Nope. All right, second try, and we don't lose time. Ah. Oh. oh, that was so close. Nope, it's over. Yeah, it's over. Come on, that was so close. Yep. It's so lame, man. <sighs> that was it. I got it correctly there, but the game said, F you, Mitch. Not today. This is not a skill-based trick. This is not a skill-based trick for anyone wondering. There is no skill behind this trick. It's RNG. I jump, all I have to do is jump directly at this corner and center it with Mario, and that's it. That's all I do. I don't do anything. It's RNG whether the game lets me. What's even worse about this trick is that I can do it perfectly and the game will still not let me get it. So, for instance, if I do the trick and I come to a dead stop on the edge right here, that means I did everything perfect. I did it perfectly, but the game was like, no, don't feel like it. So even if I get it correctly, the game can still say, no, you suck. See? Luck based. Pure and utter luck. What's the RNG? Subpixels. Pixels smaller than pixels, and if I don't get the right value of subpixels, the game will reject me. It won't let me get in. Just like this is RNG as well, although that jump was pretty bad. Come on, man. This game's shitty right now. Dude, like fucking... F yourself. No, it's gone! And I can't make this. Just get it. Thank you. Yeah, sadly, clips in this game are RNG. I've run out of my daily clips. My daily dollar. RNG and speedrunning seems annoying. It can be annoying. There's times... There's times where... There's times where RNG is like... Yeah, whatevs, you know what I mean? But then there's times when RNG's like... I really need you to work, RNG. Like, this is the only time in my life I'm ever asking for you to give me, like... Um, for example, when you guys watch the Summoning Salts video... That was really cool. When you guys watch the Summoning Salt video, my run where I got the no hands, the very last run in the video, like the perfect run, the, the perfect run, like I needed no hands so bad that like I, I had to get no hands there. If I didn't get no hands, that's when I would get frustrated at RNG because it's like one of those times where you just need it to be lucky.